Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solo evacuate the shelter. And we're using base cow to increase our building health walls by 84%. The T-Brick we're using is boom base to increase our damage by 12%. Our crit rating by 15 within 5 tiles. And we have to use two ban heroes, so we're going to be using main stage Quinn and break B wildcat. We're not using their two perks, we're just using them to activate boom base. We're using power base Nox to heal our walls for 4% of its max health every 10 seconds. Warding Kyle to heal us up and give us energy. And we're using Mega Base Kyle to increase that base connectivity range by one. Gadgets, we're using Slow Field and Banner. We're going to be using the Plasmatic Discharger with these perks to take out Smashers and Flingers. That's it. We're also using this Physical Storm King's Wrath to take out Smashers flingers because they're the only enemies you have to take out we're using the anti-air trap with these perks we're using the floor launcher with these perks we're using the tar pit with these perks we're using the wall launcher with these perks we're using the wall spikes with only one perk we're using the increased building health by 17 percent perk that's the only perk we're using we are going to be going ahead and doing this 160 four player mission um here is the modifiers mini boss slowing pulls you know metal corrosion nature you know so let's just get started all right once you load in you want to go ahead and kill all the damn enemies i'm gonna fire that there Ooh, fire that there and then put down your banner because you probably the guys are gonna probably kill you and that's fine. Well, uh, well, I was hoping I was wrong, but I guess I was right. The shield is taking heavy damage. Nice job. The shelter needs to recharge. All right, now once you go ahead and do that, the next thing you want to do is clear out the area. Just get rid of terrain, buildings, some debris. Okay, now obviously it's uh, it's uh, their nature, so I'm going to be using brick instead of metal. So you want to go ahead and go all the way around your base, build a wall all the way around. I'm pretty sure the, that's kind of obvious. And next you want to do is you want to go two out. One, two, one, two, one, two. All the way around, all the way around. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, uh, it would be the same right here. But there's kind of no point because it's already fallen off and they can't get up here. So we're just going to put one, which is just as good. And right here be one, two. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And bada boom. Now, this one is commercial. I'm going to put I'm gonna put two out just because... Okay. Okay, zombies. All right. Husks. Because I could actually build in terrain, so I could actually block this off like this, which is awesome. All right, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is just you want to upgrade it all the way up to tier three the walls up to tier three now if you don't want to upgrade the uh the floor to tier three if you just want to upgrade it to tier two that's probably fine i think this build is good and effective enough to where you don't even need the floor to be tier three tier two would probably be fine so i'm gonna do tier two All right, now next thing you want to do is get a resource that you have a ton of or don't mind wasting. For me, that's wood. And you want to build a whole ring around it. Now, I kind of forgot to say this. So, hope if you got a bad terrain, if you didn't get a flat terrain like mine, you could just back out of the mission and go back in because you're doing it solo. That's what I usually do. If I get a bad terrain, I just back out and go back in. And then you want to go ahead and once you get done with that, you want to go like this all the way around and edit them up. All right, now once you get done, you want to go ahead and grab out your brick, or you could use wood and just edit a door, go like this. I like to put a door because it makes it easier to get in, and I just do it all the way around. Okay. Next thing you want to do is grab up your brick, jump in the middle right here, and this brick that's in this little area needs to be upgraded to tier three. 
or you could try tier two if you want to get away with that i'm gonna do tier two to get away with it and right here it's gonna go like this all the way around And then you want to put cones right here on the outskirts and you're going to do the same thing and you're going to, you know, point them upward. If that makes sense. All right. Now, once you get done doing that, you want to upgrade this to tier three. You could try to, if you want to do tier two, go ahead and risk it. I mean, it's up to you. The next thing I like to do. I like to go like this so I could block off my sniper defenders or defender from going out um, out there and sh getting killed. So you want to go ahead and um, grab your anti-air traps and go boom, 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 boom. Now, the reason why you're using defenders is not to kill the husks. I mean, it is, but not for to kill the husks. The reason is because this case, like, a flinger throws a good old husk up here and boom, they're going to like light, light them up like it's Christmas. Which is the, you know, kind of what we want. But that's why you want to kill the flingers. You want to kill them. I said you kill, kill flinger smashers. And once you get done with that, you want to go. Oh. Alright, you want to go ahead and put your base right here. And once you get done putting your base, you want to come all the way on down here. Edit a way in. Um, grab your uh, wall launchers. And put them all the way around town. Once you get done with wall launchers, you want to go to go to tar pits. Here they are, and boom, 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 right in front of the the face launcher. Skip in the corner. In front of the face launcher, skip the corner. Now some smashers do attack from the corner, and they will hit it, which is kind of annoying. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's like a thirty percent chance. And once you get done with that, you want to go ahead and grab your anti-airs and put them in the, the corners. Just like that. Put them in the corners. Corner, corner. Here it is. And, you know, fill in the gap where the rest of the traps ain't. I, I can't put a trap here. Oh, I can now. Whatever. Go all the way around. Alright, and as you can see... We are done. Now, I know this looks like a lot, but I really don't think it is. I really don't think it is. Okay, this is a little skip cut. I'm a little bit in the future right now. I forgot to put the uh, increased building health trap right here. You're probably going to be seeing this while I'm putting the traps because I forgot to do it earlier. But, yeah, you want to put the traps in there. In the meantime, I need to get this thumbnail going. And this piece of metal is in the way. So let me just go like that. Let me go ahead and just go in here and then go like this. And that way I can just edit up if I need to get back up there. Oh, I forgot to upgrade this, but oh well. Even if it, that does break, should be fine. Alright, obviously the husking now. You'll only you need to kill the flingers. You only need to kill the smashers, and when the mini boss spawns, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, once the smash responds. Oh, I hate that guy. Oh. Oh, sorry. oh, this smasher is trap vulnerable, which is kind of funny. Okay, so if the smasher happens to be trap vulnerable, you want to go ahead and grab broadsides. And oh no. Oh no. Because this is the only way you can take it out. Otherwise, if it wasn't, I would, you know, take it out. A different way because it's way easier to take out the smashers when they're not tri vulnerable but as you can see it's fine it's like he's not really doing anything you know like I said these guys are really easy to take out 
I prefer a, a smasher a mini boss because they're easier to kill, that's for one. And I'm about to die, but that's, you know, it's fine. So if the, if, uh, so we just took out that smasher. If, uh, uh, if it's a regular mini boss, you just want to go ahead and bull rush him like this. Bull rush him over and over and over and over and over and over. And if he happens to get too close, just throw it on the slow field and bull rush him, bull rush him. And he happens to get back, your slow field runs out. You go ahead and put down your banner. And then by then, he is like going to despawn. And that is how you solo evacuate the shelter. It's kind of funny because this is similar to my um, to the repair the shelter. And as you can see, we got our rewards. Probably got damn, that's 400 ice storm. That's a lot. And uh, damn, six storm shards. That's not a lot.